you know, you've heard me talk a lot about spinnerbaits today, and, and one thing that you have to keep in mind is every spinnerbait's not the right tool for every situation. Every retrieve is not the right retrieve for any given situation. I mean, you can catch fish slow rolling a spinnerbait, you can catch fish bulging a spinnerbait or waking a spinnerbait, which is one of my favorite ways to catch them. But the one thing that I'm going to say when you throw a spinnerbait is you have to vary your retrieve. So many guys I see out there throwing spinnerbaits today, I mean, they're essentially just throwing them out, whether they're slow rolling them or whether they're fishing them faster, they're just winding them in. And in, and in essence, the biggest thing that makes a spinnerbait productive is when you do crazy stuff with it. I mean, jerk your rod, twitch your rod, kill the spinnerbait, stop it and go with it. And really, you can kind of let the fish tell you what they want. I mean, whenever I start fishing, especially in the fall when the water temperatures drop and the shad start migrating into the creeks, I'm going to cover a lot of water and I'm basically going to burn that spinnerbait. So I'm going to throw it out and I'm going to hold my rod, you know, relatively high and I'm going to burn it just under the surface. I don't really want to... Oh, there's a bass. Missed it right there. Don't really ever want to let the bait actually break the surface of the water, but you definitely want to create some commotion. I think when you're bulging or waking a spinnerbait, you're essentially making a fish think that something else is fed. And you know how it is. I mean, fish get aggressive and they get uh, active when they see those kind of things. Blade combinations is really key. Anytime I'm throwing a spinnerbait in clear water, when I'm waking it fast, when I'm fishing it fast, I typically am always going to throw double willow leaf blade combinations. When you're slow rolling a spinnerbait, when you need to create more vibration, that's when you can go with the Colorado, Indiana blade combinations. And that is what you want to look for when you have dirtier water. So the next time you hit the lake, especially in the fall or early in the spring, don't forget a good old War Eagle spinnerbait. In my world, it's got a growl. In my world, it's got a purr. It's about raw horsepower. It's about refined horsepower. It's about sipping the gas and catching more bass. Give me the two-stroke direct injector Pro XS. I'll take the supercharged Pro four-stroke. Either way, you can't go wrong. So tell me, what kind of pro are you? Go to mercurymarine.com and take the online quiz to find the right pro for you.